Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda, the channel name is Alba Stitcher and this is a channel about cross stitch. Today is Tuesday the 14th of March and I'm here to do a little bit of an update. This is flush tube number 46 for me. I'm hoping this all works out because we have a visitor with us. Many of you have been asking me where Alba is, how's Alba doing and she has been extremely camera shy so we've not really seen her much uh, at all really um, but she's here in the room with me just now she's actually sunning herself um, on the windowsill and it's a false picture because I say sunning herself but to be honest we've had snow all day <laughs> we've had snow all day and um, it's really now just that the sun's come out so do not be surprised if you see her pop up um, which would be nice because a lot of people do ask for her um okay did i say this is a uh, floss tube number 40, 46 i'm not sure i did um so it's been three weeks since my last update and i have some stuff to show you i have my marker haul i have um more stuff i think um actually i don't think i've ordered any more stuff at the moment um but i'm hoping for some other things that I've got my eye on that I haven't quite ordered yet. Um, super bright today. So I'm hoping it doesn't blow out all the colours on everything. Um, I have three finishes. Goodness knows how that happened. Um, and I have work on another couple of uh, whips. And I have I have my haul, my market haul. So let's get started. Let me start with my finishes. I think that's... a a good place to start um you may remember this this is from the last time i was almost done and then i had a bit of a i had to do lots of um frogging on it but this is um by it's called dutch strawberries and it's by um where's my bag what did i do with it hold please Yep, Dutch Strawberries by The Good Huswife. Um, and here is my finish. And this is stitched on a piece of straw using the called for uh, DMC threads because it's um, charted in MPI silks. So this is the DMC and I absolutely loved stitching on this. I particularly like this effect here with the, the flower and I've actually... I've got a few other pieces in my stash that are quite similar. So yeah, I finished that. Didn't take that long. Had lots of frogging. I couldn't count. But yeah, so that's my first finish um, for this video. Dutch Strawberries by The Good Huswife. And then my second finish is one that I had done before. This is a start and a finish since the last time I saw you. Um, I've done one before in the series, sorry, I should be clear there. And this is by Hands On Design and it's there, they, they had a kind of Secret Santa set, I think she had seven in, the, in total, six or seven. I've got about four or five I think in my stash. So I did this one, there's lots of changes here, um, I don't know if you're able to see, but I used um, Etoile floss for the red i don't even know if that's picking it up it's super bright today um and i think everything else was called for except i didn't use cryonic i used petite treasure braid but unfortunately with the brightness i don't think you're going to see anything with it but yeah i finished this um this is my first christmas or ornament of this year i don't have many to do but i had planned to do a couple um to give away so um, this is the first. I'll try and do a, a couple more later on in the year. So this is by Hands On Design, as I said, and it's uh, I think it was Secret Santa was the the actual set. This is stitched on the Zweigart um, fabric. Um, I'm not quite sure what it's called. It was unmarked in my bag, so goodness knows where I purchased it from. Mm, not really sure. I maybe have a. I'll have a look and pop it down below in case anyone is interested in I stitched the other one last year might have even been the year before with the same fabric and I, I switched out some of the threads but it says this dear Santa I've been good so that was my second finish 
and my third finish which I'm really pleased with and I did really thoroughly enjoy stitching on it is my Quaker, my March Quaker. So this is by um, From the Heart Needle Art and every month I'm doing one of their Quakers. Um, I've got actually January and February here to show you. I was just wondering if Alba was coming out there. I really do need to catch her because goodness knows the next time she'll be up here. And this is the March one and this is stitched on 32 count Zweigart Platinum using the called for threads. Again, I stitched on this when I was at a stitchy day two weeks ago, I think it was, and I, I got a lot of progress then, even though I did do a lot of frogging because I was doing too much talking. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with this. And see, as I said, they're looking fabulous. So in case people haven't seen the others, this one is January. Um, and this one is February and I love the colours in February and then of course this is March so yeah really really enjoying these there's a lot of stitching in them I won't lie there's a lot of stitching and sometimes I think in January in particular I was getting a little bit frustrated because I couldn't stitch on my my other charts because I was too busy caught up with this um, and if it does get too much, I will probably drop it to once every two months. But at the moment, I'm going to try and keep the once a month because I would like to have them all finished by the end of the year. But they're a wee bit deceptively um, in the amount of stitching that's required. So, yeah, so I, that's my third finish. But I wanted to show you April's Quaker because it's all ready to go. Um, I've picked my fabric out and I've got this floss here and I wanted to show you the chart in case anyone is um, interested and this is the April chart and this is what I think I'm going to do mine on and this is um, summer khaki yep summer khaki and here are the do it this way and here are the three threads so this is what my April's going to look like with the three threads. Really enjoy stitching on these. This one looks lovely. So yeah, that's the April Quaker. And if you're interested and you're joining in, um, we have a hashtag. Um, hashtag Year of Quakers 2023. And even if you're just doing one, if you could uh, join the hashtag so you can share your... Uh, progress within everyone that would be really great um it, the the hashtag for me is is wonderful because not everyone is sticking to the called for colors um some people have uh, switched out different fabrics so yeah it's it's really really good so that's my april quaker and i will not start it until the first of april i have plenty of other things to be stitching um the other things so my whips that i've been working on I really want to make some sort of conscious effort to try and get my whip count down. So even though I'm having finishes, I, I certainly still want to try and um, get the number of whips I have down. I don't know exactly what the number is. Excuse this crinkling, but it is a big number. Um, and there is so many other things that I want to stitch on and I get quite frustrated because I have such a large stash so the only way I'm going to get things finished is if I stitch them so I've been working on this piece here and this is the Prairie Schooler uh, Hocus Pocus um, I did not stick to the called for threads or fabric at all so I will show you how far I've gotten with my piece I had planned to do a block a month and have it done by uh, October but I'm actually a little bit ahead so I will probably just keep going and this is where I'm at I've got three blocks totally finished and then I'm starting on this third block here I don't know if you can really see that because of the the lighting so yeah that's my three blocks so far and I switched out I think the called for is 37.99 
for the kind of dark brown but I switched it out to 310 um, I kept a couple of the other let me just look at the threads I kept a couple of the other threads I've kept the, the white I think I'm using B5200 um, I kept the grey 640 and the dark grey 3787 and then I swapped out the orange for lobster claw this one here and I also swapped in even though it's not charted the purple and I think you can only really see it in the witch at the moment and that's Weeks Dye Works Ultraviolet and this is stitched on a piece of murky even weave uh, Lugana um, so 32 count murky by Picture This Plus and yeah I'm quite pleased with the, the progress on it I would like to, to try and get it wrapped up before um, before October, before Halloween but we'll just see how that goes um, let me just slip this back in here and again, sorry for the, the noise and I also worked on this one and this is just kind of hanging out the bag at the moment at the moment um so as i said i was trying to work on my whips i want to try and get them down so i had picked this one up i hadn't really worked on it so much and i can't even hazard a guess as to when i started it but this, this is ellen barber by hands across the sea it's a very small brightly colored um chart and I don't really have any spring stitching or anything like that but this really did please me when I started it so I think when I picked it up this time I had most of the first border sorry the first line completed and um, part of the the side borders um no actually I think I had both the the first alphabet completed and part of the side borders and I just kind of worked my way down and um, yeah it's it's quite a quick stitch she's not huge which I think um, obviously makes it um, quicker she's 103 <coughs> excuse me by 119 and that's these are the DMC threads and it's a seraphim fabric um, I didn't keep a note of which fabric it is, but this is a seraphim fabric. And I have a good bit of chunk here later for, for something else. So that is the other project that I worked on in the last um, three weeks. And I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And I'll probably stick with this one to try and get it finished off before um, I move on to something else. I'm trying to limit my, my new starts, but there's a lot of the market stuff calling to me. And the only one that I'm really worried about is this colour here. Um, let me just tell you what colour that is. Um, that is DMC 224. But actually, in real life, it, it, it's, it shows up perfectly. It's just really in this light and on the camera. You can't really see it. So this is 32 count. It's an unknown seraphin fabric and it's stitched two over two so yeah there's my ellen barber um, and i'm probably close to halfway i'm probably yeah i'm probably just about getting to halfway so i'm hoping not much longer and she'll be she'll be done she's a, an enjoyable stitch um and it's an enjoyable stitch because um yeah, it stitches up quite quickly and it's nice and bright which is good so yep, yeah, Ellen Barber. And I think that's all. I do think I picked up my Mirabilia Peony Fairy, but I don't think I put a lot of stitches in, so I didn't bring her through. I didn't think it was worthwhile um, showing that to you. Um, so let us, talk, let us talk haul. I have a, a massive bundle here for haul. So let's talk haul. As you all know, it was um, Nashville Needlework Market the last um, two weekends ago and uh, so much loveliness. I actually think this is probably one of the best markets that we've had in terms of range of charts. There's been a lot of kind of different designers popping up with them um, kind of things a little bit different. 
which I think is great because even if I'm not going to stitch it, I always enjoy to see the range and the variety in the cross stitch world. Some of what's in this bag is stuff that I had ordered before needle uh, before market and has now come in, um, and some of it is specifically things that I ordered when I saw market releases. And I must say, I did have a an order with one two three stitch that was placed on the 5th I think of March and they've already I've already had notification that it's in the UK so hopefully not too much longer but let me show you what I have purchased so far in no particular order because I love it all um, the first thing I want to show you is something that I've coveted for a very long time and there are lots of people who are really pleased that this one has been reprinted and this is Blackbird Design Birds of a Feather and I absolutely adore this. I don't have it kitted up yet. It is on my um, to-do list um, but I just I love it and I love that it's a reproduction and it's a reproduction that's a little bit different. Are you coming out Alba? No? Um, I love that it's a hold please I just want are you okay? Right, okay. So she's still there. I thought maybe she had nipped out when I was um, next door. So I love that it's a reproduction that's a little bit different. I, I like samplers. I enjoy stitching on samplers, but sometimes I like things a little bit mixed up. So this was, I was so pleased when I, I could get a hold of this. I also picked up this chart here. And this is by October House Fibre Arts and it's the Itch to Stitch and I have the other one with the tomatoes on it and I do plan to do them in similar fabric like this so that they can be displayed together. Um, and this is the problem because now I want to work on my large whip number I have but there is just so much goodness out there but yes this one here. Um, I also picked up by Jeanette Douglas the chubby bunny and you may remember that I stitched the chubby bird um, a couple of years ago and I got it finished by Lynn um, heartfelt finishing and I gifted it to my mum but I do like chubby bunny as well super cute um, I also picked up this one here which was by Lindy Stitches called polar bear abode um, I just I just liked it and it might actually be one of the um, ornaments that I do might be too big for an ornament what's the size of it let me check here's me thinking oh yeah I'll do that one as an ornament I really like it well 57 by 56 so not that big so I picked this one up as well thought it was a bit cute um, I also picked up Tiny Town and this is the the B one um, I have the other tiny towns I've not stitched them yet I would like to finish them as drums I think they look absolutely fabulous um, as drums so there's this one and I'm super excited that the one that's been released later is Seaside um, Seaside Town because I love that as well um, I also picked up the Cuckoo Bird Sampler by Heart and Hand and I have the other ones in the series as well. I'm not sure about the, I'm not sure about the floss colour. I might might switch that up. But it comes. I can show you this with the, the embellishments. Um, I picked up um, Penny Spring. I've already finished Penny Autumn which was a few years ago. I'm, I'm sure I was still living in the, the Netherlands at that point. But I really like the, the brightness of this. I'll probably not start this one right away. If if I, if my memory serves me correctly, when I did the Penny Autumn, the border, the border got the best of me at certain points. It's a bit of a beast. So no doubt this one will be the same, but I love the effect. I love a Penny border. I always think it looks really good, um, but they are stitch heavy. There's a lot of stitching involved. Um, I also picked up, well actually I should show them together, I picked up the Trainway Silk Pack. First of all, I've never heard of this company. 
and I had never, yeah, I'd never heard of the, the this company. But I loved the, the silk pack. I loved the colours in it. I thought, yeah, they're nice. So I managed to get one of the... Hello, Alba. No, well, I'm sorry. I couldn't keep her entertained that long. She's obviously not interested in the Trainway silk pack. But you can see she's still fine. She's still fine and well. Both of us are getting a little bit more mature, but we're both fine. So I picked up this and I know there were certain charts that were designed for for the silk pack. So I wanted to, to get at least a couple of them. I couldn't or I didn't always see what I wanted, but I've picked up two for the silk pack. So the first one here is by Jan Hicks, Hicks Creates. And it's, um, is it, is it Stay Calm? What's it called? Um, calm, I think it's just called Calm. So that one, and yeah, I love the colours. Really, I love the colours. And then I also picked up this one, which was by Pansy Patch Quilt and Stitchery. And I, I really like this one. And the funny thing is, from this designer, there are quite a few of her new charts that I like. Um, I have have a few of them in my stash already that I haven't stitched, um, but I have a few more. Um, actually, I think maybe I've not ordered them yet, so that's something I need to do. Um, I also picked up this one here. And this one is by a Dutch um, company, Soed Idea. I cannot pronounce the name. I don't know. I don't know. Even though I lived in the Netherlands for 10, over 10 years, I'm not going to try and pronounce the, the name. But I really like the sampler. And this is the second booklet that I've bought from this designer. Um, she normally has one sampler and she makes lots of smalls as well as the main um, sampler out of it. And if you look at the back page, you can see some of the smalls. But I like the colour palette and her charts are great. And actually, I don't know if it, maybe I can show you this. Inside the chart, yeah I can, you also get a thread card, so that's detachable, it's a thread card, I have it in my other uh, booklet from her, and I have that all kitted up, but I haven't stitched it yet, but I just really like it, so if you can see it there at the bottom is the sampler, fully stitched, so yeah, and I think, oh no, one more, one more that was from Nashville anyway, and it's this one by Pansy Patch uh, Quilts and Stitchery. Is that better? It's the bunny one. And I love this one. I've loved it so much that I've been I've been through my stash and I've also ordered to get the threads because I'm desperate to start it. Um, the only reason I've not started it is because I thought I could crack on a little bit more with Ellen Barber. But this one is truly, truly calling to me. I absolutely love it. I love a big bunny. I love the um, the house and the effect from the over dye. I hope I can get the same. And um, I also like the the spools that are at the bottom of the, the big flowers. So yeah, so that was my market haul. But I also had a couple of pieces that come in that I had ordered and I had been waiting for. Um, it was another one of the Threadwork Primitives, which was... Kringle's Crow and if you remember correctly in my last video I showed you the um, few, I've got a few other ones I've got the the Halloween -y one um, the St Patrick's Day one so that's me got the Christmas one I also picked up this one uh, Love and Joy by Heartstring Samplery because I really I, I really <laughs> like it and a couple of times I went to purchase it and it was sold out and then I saw it again and I thought well, I'm just going to get it and then I've got it. I do love it. I do like a kind of Quaker design. I really do. Um, I also picked up a piece of a gingerbread. It is gingerbread. I picture this plus. I must, I must have this. I think it's for a hands-on design piece that I've got. That's, um, it says Stitch Every Day. I have that in my stash. And then you may remember 
a couple of videos ago my February update I showed you this piece here let me see if I can find it now yeah here it is here I showed you this piece here um do I have the chart yeah and this was Love Laundry by Raise the Roof and I had started this um round about yeah Valentine's Day I'm going to show you it but there's not a lot I haven't I haven't stitched on it but there's a reason why I'm showing you it I'm not just trying to fill my day with them um, what have I done here there we go so this is how far I've gotten on it so not a lot and I had no intentions of stitching on it again before um Valentine's Day for next year but I could I didn't have the buttons this was the problem I didn't have the buttons and you can see clearly on the chart the buttons well I hope you can I can see you can see like the button here and the other ones here so and I was like oh, I can't get the buttons what am I going to do and then I saw the buttons um but then it was from the Nimble Thimble, but then she didn't have them. But then she ordered them for me. So I got the buttons in, and that's what I want to show you here. And if ever I thought the buttons weren't worth it, I've changed my mind. So here is the pack of buttons for Love Laundry. And there is quite a few in there. And, you know, I think they'll look great on the, the chart. But I also have two other charts that I want to do. One is um, the Witchy Washy one. There's the buttons and then finally the Santa's clothes and that's the button pack for that one as well. So yeah, they came in. Chris at the Nimble Thimble organised them for me, which was great. She posted them up. Fabulous. And now I've got them for all three. I just need to actually finish the charts. That's not my only haul. I have a, another piece of haul and then I have a giveaway winner to share with you. So... Let me see where I'm at. It's a bit, a bit of a pickle in here already. Where is my final piece of haul I want to show you? Is it underneath everything? Of course it would be. Here it is here. You may remember that I had joined the Thread Club for um, Oh my goodness. Tommy and Lily creations. Oh my goodness, I had to think there. So I got my February threads in and they are delicious, gorgeous, scrumptious. The colours are to die for. And I'm just thinking as I'm sitting here um, looking at them, oh, wait till you see them. I'm so glad I've joined this thread club because it was like a little ray of sunshine when they came in. And here are the threads for February. Are they not lovely? Are they not absolutely gorgeous? I love them all. What are you hiding for? I love them all. And I'm wondering in my mind if I could use them for this chart. If I can find it. I may have to put this down so that I can find the chart I'm looking for. But you can just stare at the threads while I fumble through this not so neat pile that I have here. Here it is here. Maybe I can use them for this chart. What do you think? Am I going? Am I wrong? Do you think I could use them for this one? Let me see if I can hold that a bit better. Maybe use some of them for that. So yeah, I think maybe when I was just pulling all this together, I might use them for this chart here. So that was the February Thread Club. I love it. It's well worth it. Um, they come, they just, they're lovely. Really, really good. Okay, so um, we had a giveaway. And the giveaway last time was for this chart here by the Cricut Collection it says summer and you would think it was summer with the sunshine except we have a big bit of snow <laughs> so yeah summer 
I'm sure there's many. Hello. What is it? You want to come up? Come up here then. Come on. Come on, Alba. Come on. Are you coming up? Come on. You can look at the chart. I'll see if I can get Alba to come up. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, oh right. Okay. You don't want to hang around. Are you okay? So finally, everyone gets to see you. Yes. Are you okay? What are you looking at? No, there's no space here. Right. Go and sit in the window, sir. So, <laughs> so sorry. This was the um, giveaway and the winner. I just did it before I filmed. Is uh, is it Kerry Ann? Yes, Kerry Ann Carlin. You are the winner. If you can either drop me an email or send me a message on Instagram with your um, address, I'll get this lovely chart in the post to you. I do not have a giveaway. Ah, you're famous. Look, I do not have a giveaway this week. Purely because I'm kind of behind with the postage. If you remember in my last video, I had said I'd went to the post office and they said, oh, you can't post it to the US. So I hadn't, I haven't been back yet because, yeah, super busy at work. Um, but I will try and have a giveaway for my next one and I will try and get everything posted out so that there's no more backlog. Um, I would like to thank everyone for uh, subscribing for liking and comments i've always got lots of of lovely comments um i do hope you like my videos if you don't if there's things that i do that you don't like let me know i'd always like to try and improve and be better um but i really appreciate everyone hanging around and um, sharing with my addiction to a uh, stash that i've clearly got and uh, wish me good luck that i'll need to buy a mansion in order to be able to um house all my stash um, a little bit of a life dot update for, for anyone who's who's interested. I'll quickly talk about me. I'm actually doing really well. I've been for my second MRI. There is no infection in the bone. Um, they've mixed up my uh, dressings a little bit with my leg and now it seems to be on the mend, which was like fabulous news for me. Um, so I, I've, my passport was coming to an end and I wanted to get it renewed, but I felt quite down about it all because well because my legs so now passports all away getting all that sorted so things are are looking up with my leg which is great and then we have the situation with my father and uh there's no other way than just to maybe see how it is my, my dad's is on a steady decline the the brief kind of moment when things were improving because he'd had the b12 shot was very short-lived and in the last two weeks there's been a real kind of um not not massive but i i use the word steady um i have i have lunch no i have breakfast on a saturday there's a group of us all meet up in the breakfast club and um they were talking what have you done sorry that's that's alba she's still here come here um well, they were always obviously asking about my dad and the best way i can describe it is steady decline um He's struggling now with the, the Louis body, which is obviously the tension of the muscles and um, the joints, um, but also the the Alzheimer's where he can't remember things. So it, it, it's a kind of tough time. It's a kind of tough time. And as much as the NHS have been absolutely fabulous with me, there is a massive gap in the services for people who uh, suffer from dementia and the support that's available for their families. Um, I don't want to make this into any kind of uh, political statement, but um, the the support for my mum is is greatly lacking. If she they just assume she can get on with it. She's very good at putting a front on, um, and our dementia nurse, in in my opinion, is not so good. So as much as things are going well for me, they they are not really going so well for my dad. Um, but you know, we can still there's still times when we we have fun and we can enjoy just the small things but it's not easy and I know many people have a, a similar story so I totally I totally understand that um but anyway I don't want to end on a downer so I'll say bye bye I hope you're all well I hope you're all looking forward to spring as much as I am and um, you'll see me in a few weeks okay take care bye bye